but this is my first tough year in, in 16 vintages. So uh, Mendoza is blessed that way and we have a fantastic weather. Uh, last tough year was 1998, which uh, again, a uh, rainy February, uh, cool, cool March. This is the, um, the, my coolest vintage ever. It's been, uh, we were 15 days late in our harvesting. We normally are f harvest 15 days before everybody else uh, because of the low yields. And this year we've harvested in their normal days and they're pushed back a, a bit too. But uh, there's less baby fat. Uh, structures are very, tannin is very fine. Tannins are really fine grained because they develop before the, the cool weather. Um, uh, there's less baby fat, but I never know how much will drop of that baby fat. Also, the, if the wines will be lean or just elegant, I don't know yet. My hunch is they will have more elegant wines like uh, 2010 were, uh, not uh, 2011, which is muscular and, and powerful. Um, so up to, up to that point, I'm happy. If then they find go into a lean phase, I would not be so happy. But I don't think that'll that'll occur. Well, um, Malbec, I I didn't develop a philosophy in as much as I just banged my head against Malbec and just found it and started exploring it and it never ends. Uh, Malbec is so adaptable to different terroirs and altitudes and soils in Mendoza that uh, its capacity to adapt gives you a fantastic panoply of, uh, of characters in the wine, uh, flavors of uh, structures of profiles. And uh, I'm working with other varieties, I'm working with uh, all the Bordeaux varieties, I'm working a bit with Syrah, I've worked with Grenache, Mouvedre, but Malbec is always the best wine we make in, 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 that, in each area. And uh, that's why I'm making mostly Malbec, because it's, uh, the reality is that it, it is our best wine. And the reality is when people ask me, uh, well, what's beyond Malbec? I normally tell them uh, more Malbec in different places. Uh, this, uh, the, 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 the Andes, there's thousands of miles long with small valleys, pockets, uh, hillsides, uh, uh, alluvial plains. That is so fantastic. That's, uh, we are in our infancy. But uh, for example, I love Cabernet Franc from Uco Valley. I love Syrah from Uco Valley, which is a cooler version of the Argentine Syrahs. Um, I li like all that, but as I said, I've never been able to make uh, such expressive wines, especially wines that express their place so well as Malbec does in Argentina. Malbec is the best translator we have of the character of the soil. It is also the variety that is less arrogant in the sense that uh, varieties that express the variety with a full power are varieties that then express terroir with less power. Uh, uh, that's why I say translator. A translator does not impose his own character on the speech on the play or an actor on the play. Both an actor and a translator are allowing the land, in this case, the author, the, the speaker, to express himself or herself. We don't know yet. Um, so Malbec, uh, at lower yields, older vines, kind of pull back its own uh, varietal expression and allows, becomes transparent of the variety and allows the land to speak. Mm -hmm.